Lore Friendly. Style of building that embraces the look and feel of post-apocalyptic wasteland, creating structures that look and feel like a core part of the very game. Which is why it's always so jarring to see half-hearted structures whose very presence breaks your immersion and takes you out of the game. With that in mind, we're going to teach you to build this lore-friendly guard tower to defend your camps and protect the wasteland. So let's get started. Now to perform this build, you're going to need to learn a new trick. The corner post snap trick. Now anyone who's ever attempted to use support posts know they will always snap in the middle of the floor or the foundation. What's particularly annoying when you really want to put them somewhere else? Fortunately, it's an easy fix for this. Simply move up to the floor or foundation you want to attach the post to, and snap a temporary floor in the middle of the first one. And that's it. A temporary floor will now act as an anchor point so you can snap your post in. Just snap your post in the middle of the temporary floor, and you'll see it lines up with the corner that you want to attach it to. Now remove the temporary floor, and you're done. Easy peasy. You now have a post at the corner of your floor. You didn't have to do any fancy tricks involving blueprints or anything like that. Got it? Good. Now let's get to our build. Now this is a simple build. It's just a 1x2 of foundations, a shack on top, and a set of guard posts hanging off the side, supported by corner posts. So first let's put down our foundations. And let's snap a staircase here to the side for easy access. Alright. Now let's get to building our second floor. We'll snap a second staircase at the back end of the foundations and point it toward our first foundation. Now we're going to snap a floor to the top of that staircase to create a one by one where we're going to put our shack. Me, I'm just going to use a couple half floors here rather than a regular one by one just because I like to look at this great. And Okay. Okay, now we gotta add some supports to our second floor. So let's get to using that corner post snapping trick. First, let's snap a half floor up here on the one by one. And snap a post to it. Now let's repeat that for all four corners and then get rid of the half floors. And just like that, we have a fully supported second floor. Now let's finish it up. Now first, we're going to snap some posts on top of the old post. They'll snap on top of any post you want. If you want to snap posts underneath them, you can do that too. Now, we're going to go around back and snap a wall of our choice to the back wall. Make sure it's a door wall because you need to get inside. Now, let's attach a roof piece to it. And that's it. Our top shack is done. Now, all we're going to do is hang some guard posts off it so our build is complete. Now the bottom doesn't really matter. You can leave it open or seal it in. Or snap in some half walls and fences like I'm doing right now. But the top half is the more complicated part. With that we're going to hang some guard posts off the side. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. First of all you can simply take a guard post, take it to the second floor, and try and push it up over the edge. Problem is these posts get in the way and you only push it out so far. So while that method might work, it's also kind of janky, you know, or sits flush and proud in the wrong ways. So we're going to kick this build up a notch by reaching into our old bag of tricks and pulling out a classic, the old rug trick. Now if you don't know this trick, all you simply got to do is put down a rug or any other piece of floor decor. And then you put your guard post on top of the rug. Now you pick up the rug, and you'll see the guard post comes along with it. And simply move the rug to where you want it to go, and the guard post will sit on top of it. Now do that three times, and you're done. If you really want to kick it up a notch, you can use the pressure plate merge trick to sink the guard post down under the rug so it sits actually flush on the bottom floor. Better yet, you can put your guard post on top of another object, say this box here. Sink it through, and set the box down, just like you might do a rug. In any case, our basic structure is now done. From now on, it's all about themes and decoration to make it truly lore friendly. Now 
Now, as we said before, there are four basic rules of floor friendly building. Nothing new, nothing floating, nothing's perfect, and embrace the chaos. That's why today we're focusing on rule number two, nothing floating. You see, nothing floating is all about verisimilitude, or making something appear like it's true or real. In this case, true or real in the wasteland. Let's face it, the build system, while powerful, can be a chore. Things don't snap where you want them to. Things don't sit flush. Things often end up floating and being in weird places. It's incredibly easy for a new builder to come up with a great idea, a great structure, and then get halfway through the build and see that half their foundations are hanging halfway off a cliff. That's why, in order to maintain the verisimilitude, we make sure everything is either supported or sits flush. We level our foundations, we sink posts under structures, sink furniture into the ground, and cover up unsightly gaps and fill them in. So while the build system might be easy for creating basic simple structures, it also could create impossible structures that wouldn't exist in the real world, and thereby break the verisimilitude of the wasteland. So snap in your posts, sink your foundations, and make sure your workbenches sit flush, and you too can have a lore-friendly camp. And with that, we're done. Now let's get to the beauty shots. And today's build is for the Pioneer Scouts. Uh, they're an industrious group of rapscallions. They've set about building a lookout tower to watch for fires, raiders, and communists alike. Little do our boys and girls of Troop 76 know, though, that their scoutmaster, Old Pappy, really brought them out here to keep him out of trouble for dipping too often to a local hooch. With that, he's been sent off to his distant cliff to build a tower and to keep out of trouble. In the event, the boys and girls have ripped to the tower, built the camp, and even broken into an old water pump station to fulfill their pioneer badge requirements. Unaware, the old pappy has already turned the water purifier into a steel, and is already once again dipping into hooch. And that's our build! Now, as I said before, it's a simple 1x2 with a shack on top. But we gave it the appearance of an in-world guard tower. We added supports and utilized the interior, we hung guard posts off the side and decorated it with a lore-friendly theme. And we did it all on a single rainy afternoon. We'll have more builds coming for you shortly, so stay tuned for those. If any requests or need any help making your own builds, let us know. We're always glad to help out. So until next time, partner, keep your power drive.